Agad na nag-viral ang naging revelasyon ngayon ni Heart Evangelista sa ikalawang parteng interview nito kay Boy Abunda sa Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Umiiyak habang ikinagwento ni Heart Evangelista ang dapat sana ay pagkakaroon nila ng anak ni Chis Escudero. Ayon kay Heart, bago umano ang renewal of vows nila ni Chis, ay nalaman umano nilang magkakaroon sila ng baby girl. Ngunit sa kasamaang palad, ang kanilang perfect egg na inaasahan, paglalahad ni Hart ay hindi umano na buo. Sa sobrang excited pa nga umano ni Hart, nabigyan na niya ito ng pangalan. Sophia Hart, ito umano ang dapat na pangalan ng kanyang baby girl. Gayunpaman, walang dapat i-complain umano si Hart sa Panginoon dahil sa maraming blessing na kanyang natatanggap. Malungkot lamang daw si Hart dahil nahihirapan siyang buuin ang kanyang inaasahan na anak. Ganun talaga. You cannot have it all. It will come. Sa ad ni Hart Evangelista sa kanyang panayam kay Boy Abunda. Rosa Godin Tom said that if you were to be blessed with a baby, it should be now. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about it. Why? Well, it's actually a touchy, right? Ah, okay. No, I mean, ang latag mo kasi is after the doubting, after the questioning. Actually, But if I were to be blessed with a baby, and I thought it's a powerful line. Sabi ko sa'yo, transparent talaga. Sabihin ko na. <laughs> actually, I was saying, I said that in our interview because I was technically, um, we were expecting a baby, actually. I wasn't pregnant, but I was expecting my only girl that I had left, eggs. So at that time, I was... I thought he was gonna make it, but she didn't. So that one is a bit hard for me because, my God, he does. Mm. So yeah, so I was really preparing for, for her. So I really thought that I was gonna have a baby at the time. And I thought like with everything that we went through, it was finally gonna happen, but it didn't. So, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not the type to question anything. It's just sad because I thought I was gonna be able to share what I do with my last girl so it was it's it's a little hard but i'm not i'm not questioning anything okay all right that's why <laughs> I, i'm i'm sorry if, um wh what do you want to say cheers i'm predisposed to always accept god's will by so you know something sa if it's not now if it's not this um may mas maganda pa naka plano mm -hmm. intayin lang namin yun Actually, I cry not because I wasn't given what I want and I'm a spoiled child. I cry is because it took so hard for me to produce the egg. And so it was hard for me to accept the fact that, you know, I gave her a name. I actually named, named her. And what was the name? I named her Sophia Hart. So <laughs> I was very excited to have her. But... I mean, I'm blessed in so many other ways. How can I complain? I'm yeah. just sad because, of course, I was excited. But I'm not complaining. I'm not the type to complain. This was that time when that we time. had our interview. And right. then we found out right before our wedding. So I was actually very sad. Right before your second yes. wedding. So, yeah. you, know, ah. you can't have it all. You can't. You can't. But she said, cheese. It will come. Uh, may mga ibang bagay pa. Yeah, malay mo, I was meant to take care of a lot of people. Charat. Mm. <laughs> Actually, the time was also a tough time for me. I just lost my twins. Oh, oh. And again, I was in a 2018. phase. 2018. Yes, I was in a phase in my life, what's next? Especially kasi nga with the pressures of, you know, kailangan mag-anak ka, what's next for you? Parang pag-aanak is still a career path, parang ganyan. I didn't know what to do, um, and then I got this call from Kevin Kwan, and I even said, you know, I'm not really crazy rich Asian, so parang hindi ako bagay, parang ganyan. But he, he said something that was very nice, and he said that I was aspirational, and that I should be part of the video, and mm. that's how I was. That was a pivot. It. That was uh, a very important phase in your life, pagdating dito sa yes. fashion. I just want to go back about losing your twins in 2018. Yes. Just share with us that experience. Um, the pressure of having a child and how bad was that uh, experience in your life and how did you cope with it? Uh -huh. um, it in the beginning, I, I must say, kasi ako yung bunso sa pamilya natin. Uh -oh. eh. And my mom was very like hardcore in terms of kailangan perfect ka, kailangan ganyan ka. 
So having a baby wasn't really a priority for me because I've always been trained to be a go-getter, hardworking, no vacations. So no time na yun, takot ako mabuntis, even if I was married. But when I got pregnant, I didn't realize how much I wanted it so badly. And it changed me a lot because I didn't think I would be a good mom. I didn't think that I wanted to be a mom. But that's something that I'm very thankful for, that even for a brief... Even for a brief moment in my life, I realized that I can be a better person. And not necessarily that you have to give birth, or not necessarily that you have to physically be a mom, but the idea and what my angels made me feel, good enough for me. Do you still want to be a mom? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. If I'm, if I'll be a mom, why not? You know, I I remember at the time, pinagdasal ko na, um, find your way back to me in any form. And for me, hindi ko pinipilit yung mga bagay-bagay. I don't allow myself to be heartbroken dahil may bagay na hindi binigay sa akin. Yeah. Because I'm always grateful. One of the best interviews in the show. It was a surprise to me that I watched the entire interview from the first part to this without fast forwarding. I could listen to this couple for hours and learn so much from them. Both of them are full of substance. She is a remarkably intelligent person, a true family man, while Hart is so genuinely sensitive and insightful. Hart's success in her field truly stems from her passion for fashion. That's what sets her apart from other budding high fashion influencers. She eats and breathes fashion. Creativity runs in her veins, and that's something that cannot be replicated. Mula nang magsisimula si Hart hanggang ngayon at sa future, never ako maimbierna o naartihan sa kanya. She's one of a kind. Yung maarteng masarap makasama at mapanood na di ka maiinis. Sobrang love ko si Hart. And I am sad na hindi sila makakonceive ng baby. I think she will be a great mom.